Hello, and hey there, everybody. What's going on, and how are you doing out there? And a hey to the chat here on Twitch as well. Hope everyone is all right and well out there, enjoying your day. Live stream here on Twitch, and this is going to be something um, a little bit different as we are on Tuesday, February the 14th. And what I'm going to do is going to be uh, little details on the Fortnite update notes, as well as the new live item shop update for today, February 14th, 2023. Take time to shout out and thanks to all my subscribers and followers. And if you are new to my channel or new viewer, welcome to my lair. I'm kindly asking all of you to show your support to make sure you view my videos, like up thumbs up my videos, and share my videos. It takes just a button click. All would help my content to be seen. Have those bell notifications turned on and all is appreciated. I have been uploading videos consistently. For those new to my channel, new viewers, subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitch. Both are free. Do have goals looking to achieve on both Twitch and YouTube, and I appreciate you all very much for doing that. All right. So today there is a 4.2 gigabyte update. So what I'm going to do is I'm over on the uh, Fortnite site, and we're going to take a look uh what the update update patch brings here for battle royale and i do want to clarify that this update does not include a battle pass for free um this does what this does do is it does bring a uh, event with quests i want to clarify that because there is another youtuber out there that is misleading uh with that clickbait type of title so I want to do my due diligence and let you, the viewer, be aware. So we're here on the site. As you can see here, I'm going to go to this uh, Battle Royale BR short. Version 23.40. Score big in Fortnite Most Wanted. Alrighty. So I'll just read a little bit through here. Uh, the Cold-Blooded Syndicate has taken over the island, sealing away new exotic weapons and highly guarded vaults. Embark on the ultimate heist, take these weapons for yourself, and become the notorious, most notorious squad during Fortnite Most Wanted. That's a nice little uh, shot there. As one of the items most wanted, complete most I wanted quests to raise your infamy and collect in-game awards, including the gold-blooded ace outfit. Uh, Fortnite Mo Mo Most Wanted runs until February 28th, 2023 at 2 a.m. Eastern Time carry out your heist while the weapons are up for the taking so just to make you aware this is actually the uh, gold-blooded ace outfit all right so new exotic weapons uh cold-blooded has sealed away impressive weaponry but the weapons locations are no secret heist them from cold-blooded vaults accessible vault key cards drop from defeated cold-blooded bosses Defeating these bosses won't end your opposition, however, as there still be committed cold-blooded members guarding the vaults. Once you've taken down all the cold-blooded in your path, take the exotics ready for extraction. Okay, so here we have the Heisted Breacher Shotgun. Shoot your way out of a standoff. This exotic shotgun is perfect for destroying walls and cover. Interesting. Heisted Explosive Assault Rifle, aim down sights for a red-hot impact. This exotic assault rifle fires explosive projectiles. Heisted Accelerant Shotgun, practice makes perfect. This movement, the movement speed and fire rate of this exotic shotgun increases as you damage enemies with it. That's interesting. Heisted Running Gun SMG, make a break for it. This exotic SMG infuses you with slap. Then sell for loads while sprinting. While you're sprinting. Uh, not so. I guess the slap's okay. The reloads, meh. The um, heisted blink mag SMG. They'll blink and they'll miss you. This exotic SMG temporarily gives you the zero point dash ability after reloading. Temporarily? Hmm. I don't know about that. Breaking into vaults isn't the only way to get your hands on these exotic weapons, but it's by far the most felonious. Returning for the robbery, okay, back in Battle Royale during Fortnite Most Wanted, make a move for these returning weapons. Hand Cannon, Dual Pistols, Heavy Sniper, Hop Rock Duallys, or Duallys, depending how you want to pronounce that. 
Suppressed pistol, boom, sniper rifle. Rifle. No, motorboats, bows, and bow-related reality augments will be excluded from Battle Royale slash Zero Build for the duration of Fortnite Most Wanted. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so no boats, bows, or augments for that. Alright, things heat up more. Thought you could commit crimes without getting notoriety. In Fortnite Most Wanted, opening vaults and eliminating opponents will raise your heat level in a match. Okay, this is interesting. They're trying to take a, a page out of, like, Grand Theft Auto or, like, Need for Speed Most Wanted or something. Trackable by flame icons in your HUD. When you have any amount of heat, cold-blooded members will become more hostile. You'll become visible to other players on the mini-map. You'll be more visible to other players in the environment. I don't like that at all. Becoming notorious isn't necessarily negative. In fact, you may want to raise your heat level since each heat level comes with benefits. So, looks like one fire is eliminated opponents, drop more bars. Two, your movement speed increases by 15%, and you'll regenerate up to 100 health out of combat. Okay. Three, your movement speed increases by 20%, and you'll regenerate up to 100 health and 50 shield out of combat. And then four, your movement speed increases by 25%, and you'll regenerate up to 100 health and 100 shield out of combat. Okay. Use these benefits to help your high score off without a hitch. All right, and then we have get rolling with new reality augments. Pulling off a caper's no cakewalk, so you'll want to take advantage of the reality augments that made their debut in, in version 23.40. No unlocking required? Really? Huh. Exotic grab a bag. Receive a random heisted ex exotic weapon. This reality augment will remain until downtime for version 23.50. Okay. Sniper surplus. Your sniper rifles will have one extra ammo in their magazine. Okay. Same until that downtime. Keymaster grants two keys for opening holo chests. Tip. During Fortnite Most Wanted, exotic holo chests contain the heisted exotic. Okay. That's interesting too. Last shots. The last two bullets of your pistol's magazine deal bonus damage. Hmm, I don't know if I like that one as much. Crime pays. Alright, so I think we're on to the rewards here for the most wanted events. And once again, not a free battle pass that some other YouTuber fraudulently reported with that clickbait title. Uh, any crew can score big payday, but few become infamous. Completing most wanted quests will raise your infamy, which will unlock in-game rewards like the Cash Stash Back Bling, the Vault Guardian Pickaxe, and the Gold-Blooded Ace Outfits. Alright, so all these are up here. Keep track of your infamy and remaining rewards by navigating to the Cold-Blooded Logo tab in the lobby. All Fortnite most wanted rewards can be obtained without purchase. Okay. There you go for that. So that's good. So you don't need to buy the battle pass. And once again, just to reiterate, this is not a free battle pass. This is a most wanted event quest line. So just to show you what it'll look like and also show you in game as well. Uh, the most wanted quests are separated into the five sets that will become progressively available. Intel and Recon, Going in Loud, Going in Quiet, Cracking the Vault, and Clean Getaway. Completing most of the quests in one set will unlock the next set, as well as a cold-blooded medallion. Okay. Collect all five cold-blooded medallions to unlock the progressive Solid Skull Back Bling. After unlocking it, evolve the Back Bling by completing its Solid Skull quests. These quests, completable until the end of Chapter 4 Season 1, will have you racking up elims. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Secure your spot on the Most Wanted list. Participate in the Most Wanted Leaders Board Challenge for the opportunity to earn even more rewards. How to climb the leaderboards. Crack open has many, many cold-blooded vaults as you can after the leaderboards go live. Learn about the Most Wanted Leaderboards Challenge and the rewards you can earn from the Most Wanted Leaderboards Challenge official rules. Okay, so there's rules there as well. But it looks like it doesn't launch until February 16th Eastern Time, which is two days. Okay, and these are the rewards it looks like you can earn. So that's like a spray, come on there, a wrap, and a loading screen. 
All in-game rewards that can be earned from the Most Wanted Leaderboards Challenge, the GG Flamed Emoticon, Live to Ride Splay, Spray, Retro Rivals Wrap, and Clean Getaway Loading Screen. Okay, and it looks like they've also introduced a NA North America Central Server region. Okay, for those residing in Mexico and Central United States. Oh, and it looks like if... For players that use any tools that hide or alter their device's hardware may receive an in-game warning and be removed from the match. Fail to remove these hardware alterations or additional attempts to bypass these restrictions may result in an account action up to and including a permanent ban from Fortnite. Wow. Interesting to note. So competitive notes. So that FNCS Major 1. Okay, and I'll continue. And they mentioned that the uh, uh, most wanted... Um, is not included in competitive playlists, which makes sense. Exotic grab bag and sniper surplus reality augments are not included in competitive. That makes sense. And then bug fixes fix the issue that causes to disable the shadow striker reality augment. Oh, this reality augment is now re-enabled. Okay. So those are the patch notes there in, re in regards to uh, Fortnite Battle Royale for this version 23.40. So again, I just want to once again reiterate, this does not include a battle pass for free, uh, but it does but it does bring a most wanted event quests. Uh, like I said, as there's another YouTuber falsely misleading with this click bait title. So just be aware. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get over to my um, game here. So let me just do that and switch off from the PC here and edit the capture all right so we're gonna get to this game here all right and what i wanted to also um show next is um i actually randomly i found like if there, there's this party royale option so if you happen to go into this party royale option and it's located on the discover tab under by epic um, and if you go in and you quit out, you actually will earn, um, what I'm going to show you is, uh, a glider and the glider is actually going to be this umbrella. If I can find it here, here it is. It's this heist flyer umbrella. So just to make you aware, uh, that's probably temporary. It might be patched. So if you want to claim it, you want to claim it as soon as possible. And once again, this is the heist flyer, uh, and this is this is supposed to be, um, you know, again for a victory royale and uh, for this, you know, with this most wanted update. And like I stated, you want to get over to this party royale under discover tab. Just go in, just you know, go around for maybe a few seconds and then quit out, and then you will get the glider, which I was able to do. All right, so let's get on over to this item shop update refresh portion now. So let me just click back and forth. All right, so as you can see here, Most Wanted will bring us, uh, looks like there's this new Folly outfit, part of this Court of Love bundle. So it's a four item bundle here for 1,500 V-Bucks. It's 500 off if bought individually. Let's take a look into this. So here's this Folly character. Okay. Interesting. And then here's the mask on. All right. And then we have here the Folly's heart case back bling. All right. And then the heartache harvesting tool. Okay. Interesting. It's a bit tinny sounding. But, as you can see, it does show the heart, obviously, in a celebration for Valentine's Day, which is today, here on February 14th. So, like you see here, and then we have the Jester's Privilege. So, there is a heart in the front there. It isn't animated or reactive, but it's definitely, you know, for, the, for this day here, with that heart, as you can see, and the red and white for the primary colors. For 1500 for all that, then individually the outfit's 1200, the tools 500, and the wrap is 300. All right, so continuing on to this most wanted theme here, we have the heist outfit for 1200. 
So we have the default style. Okay, and then the island. All right, interesting. And then the backling is this tiny totem. All right, so this was introduced in season nine. Then we have the wild card outfit, an outfit I've seen several times for 2000. Oh, and that heist was 1200 in case I didn't mention. So here we go with the diamonds, spades, hearts, clubs, and lucky card. Then we have the cuff case backling here. Onto the safe cracker glider for 800. And it definitely looks like a safe. You see the bags of money and gold and coins. Then we have the wild card wrap bundle for 600. There's the diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades. But unfortunately, which didn't, which still doesn't make sense to me, no lucky card version. Again, not very consistent. They really need to be on these type of things. Onto the Scarlet Commander outfit for 800. I think I've seen this one before as well. Here's the default dark, which more looks like blue, and then tiger, which does have that tiger type of look to it on the top. And then the Crimson Elite outfit for 800 only just has this default style. Interesting. And then we're on to continue here with a hopper outfit for 1200 all right so this one is the default here and then egg head if i guess it is an egg head but for some reason it gives me more of a look of like that mr peanut that plant planters peanut like icon or something logo what an what an interesting decision choice there uh, the bunny bag back bling, just the sack there with a the, with the bunny spray painted on it. The bold bar harvesting tool for 500. Very basic kind of tinny. The goldie outfit for 1200. Okay, and then the loot and shoot back bling. All right. That's an interesting uh, looking back lane with a shotgun and brass knuckles. Double gold harvesting tool for 500. It's a bit tinny, but it does sound like uh, bat aluminum bats hitting. The street striker outfit for 1200 only has one style. All right, and then on to the oh, they have this aerosol assassins bundle okay this looks interesting i am curious to find out uh if this bundle's been offered but i can't really make out if it has but i think because yeah i own this paint splash and this paint splash wrap because it's 500 i believe that this bundle would actually be 2500 v bucks because i do get that slight discount for having uh, purchased a previous item from this bundle. So that is interesting. Let's take a look to see what's in this for 2000 V bucks. So we have complex with this default style. Definitely looks like kind of like a spray tagger, spray paint, graffiti inspired and rainbow, which is a bit brighter of a color palette. The purple jam backling. This does this interestingly, it does say it's reactive, and that is interesting. Same with the back bling, but it doesn't say how. So here's the default back bling with that uh, graffiti spray tagger type of motif being kept, and the rainbow. And then we have the abstract outfit, which unfortunately isn't reactive, but I have seen this before. Again, still graffiti or spray tagger type of inspired. The Abstract Assassin, different color palette, darker. I do like the eyes there with the mask. And then the Abstract Assassin Violet, where you kind of see some graffiti on the outfit itself. Okay, and then we have the Tag Bag Back Bling. Only one style, though, which is kind of unfortunate. There should be three, considering they showed three of them. And then we have the Street Shine Tool, which has two options here the default you hear that little zap on the end it does light up a bit which is kind of cool 
And then the rainbow, which is a bit brighter. Alrighty. It does say it is react. Uh, nope, I thought it was reactive. Then we have the Renegade Roller Tool. Okay. It's a big spray paint-like uh, thing here. Or excuse me, roller. A big roller full of paint. And the paint splashes. That's kind of cool. Then we have the X Isle Glider. It's a basic glider. Here's the default look. It does have a bit of like a, you know, a palette there with an emblem. And the rainbow. There you go. So, And then we have the Graffiti Glow Wrap. Unfortunately, it isn't reactive nor animated. But it does fit um, that abstract character. Where as you can see, it does say abstract on it as well. And the Paint Splash Wrap, which is animated, and I do recommend. Also included in the bundle. So since I already won't own one item, it does give me that slight discount to 2000 I believe it would usually be 2500 So if you look individually, if you bought this in, it would be 3900 V-Bucks off. So uh, the, compl the uh, complex is 1200 abstract is $1,500. Uh, each tool is $1,200. Uh, the glider is $500. Like I said, the wrap's $500. And, excuse me, the paint splash is $500. And the graffiti goes 300 I think it's actually a decent discounting bundle. Um, and if you happen to own some of the items, it will might, might give you some incentive. All right, so continuing here, we have the Fathoms Deep Bundle, seven item bundle for 2,000, 1,900 V-Bucks off if bought individually. So here's the Stingray, the Manta Back Bling, the Bull Shark Outfit, Shark's Tank Back Bling, Sea Scorpion Tool. It's a bit tinny sounding. The Underbite Tool. Also a bit tinny. And then the Sharky Shallows Wrap. It is animated, but it's very subtly so. Kind of comes in waves. Alright, individually, the outfits $1,200 each. Tools $500 each, and the wraps $500 as well. So the continuing, we have the Jailbird bundle. I've seen this a few times. The seven item bundle, which for 2,500, and it's 2,500 V books off if bought individually. So here's the Raft Scallion default, kind of like the Hamburglar, Bumble, the Burgle Bag Back Bling, the Scoundrel, which is the meal equivalent. Here's the default, and the Bumble. Then we have the strong box back back plane, which is a safe here. The personal pollinators back plane. It says it's reactive. That's interesting. It doesn't say how though. The night owl tool. It definitely sounds a bit chunky. And then the starry flight glider. So definitely is that inspired by that starry night Van Gogh painting. Kind of interesting. All right, so individually, the outfits are 1500 each. Uh, the backlink, 400 The tool, 800 as well as the glider. Okay. And then on to the next one, we have a hot wire outfit. I think I've seen this one too, 1500 Only one, uh, one style. And then the turbo coil backlink, introduced in Season X. The Mega Vault tool for 800. Sounds a bit zappy. The Riley outfit for 1200. The Mega Vault tool is 800. Okay. I don't know. This one's a bit basic. It does have some shiny to that top part with that jacket over it. The ghostly backwing. And then the Wild X wrap for 300. Looks okay. It's not animated or reactive though. The Renegade Shadow outfit for 1500. So here's the default style, and then you get a alternate color for the ghost. Goggles off, same outfit, and then the mask on. So let's go with the other ones for the white one, the ghost one. Mask on. Interesting. And then we have the Blast Radius Backlane, which looks like rockets. That's interesting. Shadow and Ghost for those as well. And then the Bonehead Outfit for 1500 Only one style. And the Backburner Backlane. 
All right, and then we have the Rally Raider outfit for 1200. Here's the default, the unmasked option, the Weathered Wings backling, Henchman bundle, so two item bundle for 1200, 400 if bought individually. I've seen this several times as well. Shadow Enforcer default, and the Shadow Beach Brawler, and then the Ghost Enforcer. More of a silver, very shiny silver and gray type of color scheme. And then the ghost option with shorts. And then individually, uh, outfits are 800 each. And I think we've we've seen this banner brigade before, as well as that banner brigade bundle. So each outfit individually is 800. So let me just go briefly here. So here's the banner trooper. Sergeant Sigil, Marked Marauder, and Branded Brigader. So you can obviously customize your look by choosing a banner and color in your locker. Then we have the Banner's Boldest Bundle for the male equivalent here for 2000 as well. Branded Brawler, Symbol Stalwart, Signature Sniper, Lieutenant Logo. So yeah, these are getting very repetitive. Uh, the Banner Gear Bundle is a six item bundle for 1600 so here's the wrap, which actually does look kind of cool. The banner cape, shield, emblematic tool, a bit chunky. The banner wave emoticon, and the custom cruiser glider. So 1600 for all that. So like I stated, each outfit individually is 800, and then you have the cape back bling and the shield back bling for 400 each. The tools 500, as well as the wrap, and the emo, all 500, as well as that glider. So on the same price there. And then featured, we have the geometric bundle, four item bundle. I've seen this before for 2100 V bucks, 1100 V bucks off. So here's the reactive option for on. That's what it'll look like. Reactive off, same same outfit. Then you have the gold. I'll say this, the gold is pretty standout of the three. Then the floating island backling, uh, you just only have the reactivity option on or off. Disappointingly, no third option for the gold, which really doesn't make sense. And then for this tool, you have for the, excuse me, the cube axe, reactivity on or off. And there's the reactivity. Then you have this cubic assimilation wrap. So reactive outfit, lightning effects increase with eliminations. Interesting. And then individually, outfits 1500, tools 1200, and the wraps 500. And they brought back the Battle Breakers bundle. I've seen this a few times before as well. Five item bundle for 1800 V-Bucks. So here's the Razor outfit. And actually, since I own one of these, it actually is going to be 2,000 V-Bucks, it looks like, for that bundle. Once again, because I do get a discount because I happen to own a previous item in the bundle. So here's the Razor outfit. The Fierce Cloud Puff. The Kurahamura outfit. Fire Vortex Back Bling. Silver Flame Wrap, which is animated. It's a bit subtle. Actually, no, it looks okay. And then the Battle Breakers music, which I do recommend, as I do own it. It's a very good sounding track. I'll play a little bit more of it as well when we go back so you can from the beginning. Individually, the outfits, um, Razor's 1200, Kuro Mahuma's 1500 for some reason, the Rash 500, and that Battle Breakers music, which I stated early, I do recommend. Just play a little here. Definitely has a good sounding vibe to it. All right, now we're on to the daily tab with this Aspen outfit. Kind of a base character here, just with their own little style. Autumn attack, so yeah, that's why the pants look like fall leaves. Then a skull emblem on the shirt. Uh, cloaked star outfit for 1500. 
this one style darkest edge back bling cool looking swords then we have the spellbound staff tool for 800 let's take a quick here see how this is Ooh, thuddy yeah it's a thuddy and zappy sound at the same time all right now we have the chicken emote for 500 and i am curious because of this emote doesn't look that common to me when was it last offered oh wow so this emote was last offered in april of last year 2022 so it's been almost a year 319 days so let's take a play here You just hear check-in sounds, and it's just going to keep clapping on a loop. I'm surprised this many people found it above average. I think it's not even that. On to the Raleigh Rider emote for 500. It is a traversal emote. All right. So the question is, if you actually roll on the ball, it doesn't show you. Um, wow, this is another rare one. So this this um, particular emote was last offered in July of 2021. So again, another kind of like a uh, longly vaulted item. All right, on to this orbital uh, overload music, which I'll also play. See how this sounds. This is an interesting sound, and by the way, that Orbital Overload Music, another very longly vaulted item, unvaulted here. This was last offered in April of 2021, so these are three items that have been a while, so good on them for at least getting at least something a little bit different for a change. However, I really would have preferred um, several other items that they only put up for a day and took off, but... So the kit looks like we might read the repeat portion. The Kid Leroy bundle and items still here. Uncharted is still here as well. I'm not sure if Love is in the Air is going to be ending soon. It might because today is Valentine's Day. So it's perhaps might be ending soon. So just be on the lookout for that. Special offers and bundles the same. Battle Pass, Fortnite Crew Sub, and Crew Legacy set. Okay, so what we have here is somewhat of a mix in terms of um, some repeat items, and then we have some most wanted items, which brought back uh, some other repeated items. But they actually have a few uh, items that were unvaulted that were last seen a year, almost a year ago or more. So in terms of my uh, recommendations, still not sure if I'm going to get this hooked on you or true hard mode either. Um, the Kid Leroy uh, items and bundle. I am intrigued by this Orbital Overload music. Not sure about these other two emotes, even though they've been longly vaulted, just recently unvaulted. Not sure. But this one is a traversal. Uh, the Battle Breakers music, I do recommend. I am intrigued by this Aerosol Assassins bundle. And yeah, so that looks like that that's going to do it here uh, for this Fortnite uh, item shop update for today, February 14th, 2023, and as well as those update notes that I uh, went through earlier. All right, so let me know if you're interested or what you think, you're intending on purchasing anything from this uh, shop update, and uh how do you feel about the update and those quests? Um, do you, someone you know, have any birthday, shout out, comments, or questions? You can answer any and all that by dropping a comment on the video. Liking up the video would help me out a lot, uh, as well as comment, subscribe, and sharing my video. All would be appreciated and would help my content to be seen for my YouTube channel, Dirty with Two R's Gamer, and have those bell notifications turned on. Please don't forget to watch, like up, thumbs up my videos, and subscribe. Just takes a button click and is free. I do have current goals for YouTube looking to achieve. I also live stream on Twitch. Take comments, questions, give birthdays, and shout outs, which I'm doing here. Please follow me, also free, and join my live streams and open multiplayer gaming sessions at the username Dirty with two R's underscore gamer. 
I do have current goals for Twitch looking to achieve as well. And for super thanks, would appreciate donations via my link. All right, well, that's going to do it. Later, get your game on. And please, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.